This video is designed to show you how to make your own PowerPoint quiz. The quiz can be taken on a computer and the results recorded so that you can look at the results at a later time. The first thing you'll have to do is go to my website wsorter.com and in the DYI category you'll find a download for quiz template PPT which of course is a PowerPoint program uh, and also a text um, file enabled scores and it's shown here as scores.tex of course. The next thing you'll have to do after you open the PowerPoint program is go to the first slide and change the title and here I show the title being changed to quiz one. Next open the slide that says number one question. Go to select all and select all of the slide copy it. Then insert a new slide and paste the copied information from the first slide onto it as I show here. After you've done that, the next thing you want to do is go back to the original slide, that is the one that was entitled One Questions, and what you'll do next is change the original question to whatever question you want to ask. And I show that being done here at the top. I've changed my question to who is buried in Grant's tomb. Next, go to the box that says write and change that to the correct answer. In this case, the correct answer would be Grant and Mrs. Grant. After that has been done, continue on and change all the wrong boxes to any answers that you want to uh, put in there. So fill them all in. And now after that has been completed, what you can do is drag the correct answer box to any location that you would like. In other words, you can put, make it one, two, or actually A, B, C, whatever. Then move the box that you've replaced back to the position of the original, um, of the actual answer box. And now go back and of course change the letter designations as to A, B, C, and D, and so forth. And now of course what you've done is you've created the first question with the multiple choice answers. Now what you want to do is repeat that for the next question the whole, the whole process and continue on until you've made your quiz uh, out of many questions as you want. I put my second question in here. Um, when was the War of 1812 fought? And of course put in 1812 was the correct answer and some silly answers and again rearrange them so that they're not in the same exact order uh, just as I did on the previous slide. And you can continue this process as I say until all the questions have been entered. And here again I'm showing you moving the correct answer to another position. Now if you want to make a question that is involved with a diagram or a picture, what you want to do now is go back to the um, slides on the PowerPoint program and select picture question and uh, use the same procedure as before. Open a new slide, copy everything from the picture slide, put it on the new slide. Here I show a skeleton with various locations marked and the question is where is the femur and of course you would check the correct answer which I believe is choice A. But now you want to change it so what you'll do is delete the picture, cut the picture and insert the picture that you want to use on that slide. Now after that's been done what you have to do is go to the lower left hand corner and click on a box down there. Well actually what I'm showing you here is changing the view of the uh, 
of the picture, make, enlarge it or small it, make it smaller, whatever you want to do. And then what you'll have to do is go to the draw at section at the lower left hand corner, click on that and select order and send back. What this will do is put the picture behind the choices, the little boxes. And now what you want to do is move the boxes and move, of course, the correct answer box, A, to the correct location. And move the other boxes to various locations that you might want to point to. And the last step then, of course, would be to change the letter designation. Maybe you want to make the correct answer choice C, so you mark the correct answer box, which was originally A, with a C. Here is the last slide that's shown. After the test has been completed, this is what the user will see. It says, how, do I do, how did I do? When you click that, it'll show you the number right and the number tried. And it'll also put this on a, um, a text uh, file so you could read it. Save this whole thing as a PowerPoint show presentation. And then you can put it on a computer where it can be used by the students. Now you have to put both the text file and the PowerPoint show on the computer. That's it. Good luck.